quick review on the let's get it right Oxford Montreal 3.0 jacket which I've had for about a year um, it's taken me this long to review it because I've not really ridden it in enough rain um, I have now I have a couple of summer storms and there's a couple of quirks about the jacket which I for the price point I think is a really good jacket so far um, it's double zipped um, obviously and it's a three layer jacket so if you wear it in the summer it you can sweat up in it it's got good air vents that's uh, one of the good things about it it's got good air vents the airflow vents still seem very waterproof um, again you can open right up and if you pin that back a bit it gives you good airflow into the chest there's a couple behind and a couple in the sleeves all good um, I say as far as waterproof goes <clears throat> all new jackets are, yeah, they retain their waterproofness in my opinion to a degree um, for probably a few years <clears throat> it's asking too much of it to say it's going to be forever waterproof downsides of the jacket in my opinion <clears throat> it doesn't zip to the pants which I've got the pants as well it doesn't zip to the pants so you've got drafty sort of midrift and if like I did when it was raining heavily I wore some over trousers on the lowers and the water just tends to come up so the only part I got wet was in my stomach where the water had come up on my particular bike um, it's got some quirks about it some good features it's got a good pocket which I've not used but in the rear there's a good document pocket so if you're abroad you can put documents in there because you do need to have documents with you at all times in a little waterproof jiffy bag that's fine um, the collar it's a nice collar obviously it's padded um, it does in the rain the red runs out so be aware of that I was wearing a white t-shirt look like somebody slashed my throat um, it's got a liner in it um, it's not in there at the moment but zips in obviously that's just a normal liner and just normal stuff uh, an interesting feature of the jacket is a rain hood which um, zip in here I won't bother unzipping it because it's a fat but it was one of those things that I thought why would you want a rain hood and um, when I was uh, in a, a heavy summer storm I stopped to sort of put on some over trousers and I thought I'll use a rain hood and actually it's a brilliant idea it's not a plastic hood but it's sort of plastic up to probably the ear line so your neck is well protected from the wind and the rain um, brilliant idea I thought it was really nice and simple the only problem is if you've just been caught in a rainstorm the collar is wet so I had to come back with a wet collar but has, having said that I thought the rain hood was a quite a clever and useful idea Downsides of the jackets, I've already said, not zipping together makes it drafty. Um, sleeves, lots of adjustment, but not really ramping it down. So habitually, I would tend to have my gloves underneath it. And when this area gets wet, so you zip it up, you close those over. When this cuff gets wet, it's bloody it stays wet. So if you're away, you really want to be putting the gloves over the jacket, which is contrary to my personal previous jacket I have was a Sheltex type material so the water would run down into the gloves <laughs> wet gloves but to be honest this you'd have to play that by ear and see how you got on with it um, me in future if it's raining heavily I'll probably zip that right tight and put the gloves over it and think, well a wet pro gloves is one problem but it, that sleeve got really wet uh, of course because it's triple layer as well when it really rains heavily the jacket gets heavy it gets weighted down with rain, um, which is, well, it is what it is. Um, at this price point, I suppose, don't suppose you can ask for any more. Um, the real query, the real reason I'm put, posting this video is back protector pocket. Back protector pocket, marvellous idea. Okay, great. Until you try and use it, and it's got no back protector pocket per se. Um, what it's got, the jacket, is as the inside there's a band of loose material just a web with velcro on it 
So you then have to go, I try, try to put my normal like, back protector on it and it didn't really occur as an issue simply because, just take this off. Now I've still got a piece of foam in there, it's not good. But as you can see this, if I just get this out of the way, I habitually would wear a separate back. So I sort of pulled this apart, but so this web sits inside and velcros to the back protector, which I actually yesterday went down to the good fellows at Sports Bike Shop, which we now have in Reading, which is marvellous, and queried this and what the hell? And the guy didn't know any more than I did. Um, so we got a jacket down and I said, look, this is what I see as a problem. It's got no pocket, as, as I would understand a pocket to be. Normally the pocket's got a thing at the top, you put it in, it sits in a pocket, in a place, finished. He said, I've never seen anything like that, but this is just the foamy one, but I won't take the back protector out, so I bought one. But essentially, when you buy an Oxford back protector, it comes with Velcro on it. Now, of course, you could perhaps stick this to a normal back protector. I actually didn't have one. Well, I have, but it's in a leather jacket. Because, as I say, habitually I've been wearing a, a force field one, which is, in the summer, it's a bit of a lump. Uh, I don't really mind it in the winter. It keeps you a bit warm. Um, but sometimes in the summer, if you're just out for the day, you want to take the jacket off and have a cup of coffee. It's a, you know, I've got to take off this great big back protector. You look like somebody's... Uh, dressing for war um, but yeah it's an oddity um, back protector's not a fortune you know, LS1 is about 15 quid uh, I've bought an LS2 simply because if you're going to buy one buy what is the better one in my opinion um, it's not massive it's about the same size as this which is I'm not saying rubbish but compared with a, a one piece back protector which goes right through to your pelvis um, is a bit limiting so I stuck one in there now just I just tried it yesterday it's fine it stays in place actually much to my surprise as I say this this web that just runs down there you think it's gonna fly about but of course I suppose once the jackets dropped out it sits there in its place and you could possibly you could raise it or lower it depending on how you felt it was um, the web actually comes it's like a pair of, I suppose if you, if you feel it, the, the shape of it is much the same as a pair of braces. So one strap this side, one strap that side to a central web where it velcros on. Um, in itself, yeah, it works, it's fine, it's, but it's an oddity. So I, I bought the jacket and then was a bit perplexed um, as to why there was no pocket. Um, as I say, sorry, it's got all the nice features, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a nice featured jacket, it's got the usual pockets, it's not got top pockets, um, inside it has obviously two, two inside pockets, but two waterproof, seemingly waterproof pockets, as I say, good air vents, good, good little clamps and bits, sizing is a bit of an issue, I would I ordered it online before we had a sports bike shop in Reading. I would probably say it's best to go and try it on. Um, I bought what I thought was my size and it was very tight. Couldn't, arms forward and it was tight around the waist. So chopped the whole lot and got the larger size, which actually is a bit too big. Um, it's just a, a size too big. So there's probably some different sizing. I think if you look on the Oxford website, there are some longs, shorts, but of course, most shops just have the regulars. Uh, so I would just say, go and try it if you can. Certainly in our area, as I say, we've got a sports bike shop outlet, which is really helpful, guys. And to be fair, the sports bike shop, if you ordered one online and it was all wrong, as I did, you just say, I want to send it back. And they're really great. It's, it's really slick. Um, armor in it is just the elbow armor and the shoulder armor. It's just LS1. It's not good but then again it's a price point jacket um, would I recommend it yeah for the price it's it's 
exactly what you would expect. If you could stretch to, I think it's called the Montreal, um, which is a laminate. Um, so my previous jacket was a laminate, and to be perfectly honest, the laminate, this is a triple layer, so the waterproof membrane is inside, so you've got like a the outer jacket, and then an inner jacket, and then a lining, so it's three layers, and then you've got an inner warm piece which zips out, of course. So realistically, the laminate one is a, probably a much lighter, more comfortable thing to wear, but of course more expensive. I think nearly double the price. But for me, this is good. Oh, the only, before I finish, there's a piece of, uh, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a little neck tightener, which isn't worth. To be honest, it's just, I just don't, Whoever engineered that really wants to go home and sit in a darkened room because that's never going to work. You'd be better off to put three pop studs on there because what happens is that one will probably work because it's tight because it's at the end of the run. Once you get in the middle, which is where I I tend to clip it on there, as soon as you move your neck it just pops straight to the more relaxed end. So you know, that was never going to work. You could, Surely they must have known that was a, a flawed idea. The collar, um, it's got the option to clip it back, which is actually quite handy in the summer, of course. You can just pop it back and you've got like a slightly open neck, which is really nice. So pockets are good, a zippable pocket for your sort of vice was only a loose pocket, so but with the trousers you're not gonna need it. So um, I bought the whole kit for about to 250 pounds sterling in the whole kit. The trousers have got two, um, I don't what you call them now, pockets on the leg side, um, combat trousers style, um, so they're great. And they come with a little bib, which is at the back, and bib and braces if you want to use that. Um, I tend to use it because, I say mine are a bit large. Um, and it's all in all a good piece of kit. Um, I don't know what colours are available in that. I instinctively went for the black. The previous jacket was yellow, and to be honest, after after some years, mind you, many years, in fairness, um, it just starts to fade and go off. So you start off looking like something that the lifeboat men would use, and then you end up looking like a faded yellow piece of whatever. Um, it's not massively got a lot of reflective bits, a couple of bits on the shoulder, but really not, I'm not going to say not good enough, but yeah, if you are into safety, you probably want to wear a yellow over jacket with it or something, which a lot of people do nowadays, to be honest, um, and I tend not to, for no good reason really, but as I say, useful jacket, so Sports Bike Shop Direct, they don't pay me, obviously. I pay them, it seems. Um, but I've got no issue with their service. It's been very good. And uh, say, when I took it down there, the guy was really concerned that I had a, an issue with it, although I bought it a year ago and I told him that. He was like, really, you know, getting back protectors down, trying to understand it, get his friend over to, uh, you know, well, how does this go then? And I actually, I actually said to him, this is how I think it goes. You put that in there and it velcros to it. And it, he said, that will never, that will never sit there. And, it does actually in fairness it, it does work but an oddity in the marketplace as we see it so that's it simple um the oxford mon i always call it Montreal. there it's not it's the montreal the montreal three um retails about 150 quid ish there you go